Good morning. Good morning. Let's do Rala. Let's do my Cancerians. I did Pisces first, so right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, yep. Let's do Cancers. Let's do my little, my little Cancerians. I hope everybody's good. How's that cool out of buddy? Good stuff. Okay. All right. So. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Okay. My Cancerians. Let's see what we got. First two weeks of March for my Cancerians. I can't feel you yet. I feel it coming. Alright, something's coming. Stop, Mom. Why are you tell me to stop? Alright, so we got the Queen of Fire and the Fire of Air. And the Air of Fire. <laughs> the Queen of Fire and the Fire of Air. Alright, so I don't know if this is the whole yin and the yang. You're balancing something out. Or if you're you're dealing with a fire sign, a king of fire, but is coming in as air. You know, right now, um, we got Sag and Aquarius on the board. And we have the Six of Fire. Alright, man, is that coming out? Um, that's talking about victory. Alright. Then we got the five of fire. Cancer, cancer, cancer. <clears throat> and then we got the six of water with the messenger of air. And I'm pretty sure Aquarius had that here. And had the six of wands here, if I'm correct. Alright, so. Queen of fire, king of air. Six of air. Five of air, six of water. All right. Messenger of air. And I'm, like I said, I'm almost positive that was Aquarius like that. And they had the six of water at the bottom of the deck. So regardless of that. Okay. There's my little Cancerian cards with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So. Right off the bat. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull your lesson at the same time. You're coming in as Queen of Fire. So my Cancerians are fire right now. Okay. Um, definitely thinking about the past, but, you know, you're conflicted for sure. When it comes to this message you're about to get, and it can be victorious. I do, I, I am going to mention this briefly. And I meant to do it in today's energy, but I didn't get to it yet. I'll do that next. But this six of fire I've been looking at as ego and the three of hearts is, as heartache. But it, it's really the three of swords, three of hearts, that's ego. The six of fire is a small victory, okay? And I clarified that last night. And I did four reads yesterday. So if there was a six of fire in any of those reads... It is a small victory more than ego, but I mentioned ego, so I mean it was still there regardless, troops, okay? So, um, basically, I don't know if, like, because your back, your back's not turned, it's just, it's just like this, okay? So it's like basically saying, you can be victorious, or you're about to have a, a victory when it comes to the king of air, or the king of fire, okay? Um, it's like a small win. It is, I'm not even going to say it's like a win. It is no longer feeling defeated with something, okay? But whatever message you're going to get from this person, all right, or it's a message from the divine, just like in the Aquarian read. It's pulling me right to the Aquarian read. But to me, it, it's, it's a message that you're going to get. And I believe the divine feminine was coming in as the queen of swords in that one, okay? But right now, you're queen of fire, so... Either you have a great insight or something is inspiring you. It's 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 something amongst among those lines, okay? And chances are you are dealing with an emperor. So, you know, I, I did say king of fire, even though it's air. No, I said fire of kings. It's something like that. But regardless, that's an Aries, okay? So let me get your lessons from my little Cancerians. Um, 
this is not the last raw love I did to you was like all over the place. It was like, I don't know what you must have been in, but you definitely found a way out of it. Okay. And that's why you're coming in as the queen of fire. Um, and you have empathy. Okay. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So what beautiful energy, because at this point you got acceptance at the bottom of the deck. All right. So you're willing to see both sides of a situation here. All right. And I think that's what can make this situation a win for you. Um, let me just clarify this messenger of air. All right. But you are conflicted when it comes to the soulmate. So to me, it looks like you're going to get a message and you're, you're conflicted. And only you would know why. Okay. So tell me about this messenger of air, please. Messenger of air. All right. So we got the four chalices. All right. So I don't, I don't know if somebody feels like they missed out on an opportunity here. If somebody's bored, they pulled the same thing too. They have the four cups in their read too. And the four cups is, is throwing me off. Um, I don't know why, but it is. Okay. So to me, it's like, can, it's like them looking straight up at the fire, you know, like, can this be victorious? Can this not be victorious? Like, I, I feel like they feel like they might've missed an opportunity. I'm not quite sure. You know, um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card and so they, so didn't these, the, them. Okay. So to me, this is just basically saying it's either their energy and your energy, or it's the same energy together coming up as a different aspect in their chart it really just depends like you might have a strong uranus okay because it, it rules aquarius all right so it is kind of like i feel like it is the same energy the same person's energy okay and maybe they're dealing with an Aqu uh, aquarius or maybe you're dealing with a cancerian vice versa whomever's watching which read but tell me about the four chalices um and, you know, it's, what is that? It's the chariot, all right? So it's the Cancerian, you know? So it's like, it's my Cancerians that are like, do I, do I even want this at this point? Okay, this is exactly what this is saying. Like, do I want to move forward with this person? Because they're looking right up, okay? Do I want to move for, forward with a, uh, an Aquarius? Because that's an Aquarian, okay? But it doesn't, you could be dealing with an Aries, all right? But they're coming in under Aquarian energy, which to me, there's a message. So that Aquarian energy is communication, Aquarian through communication, okay? So that's communication. So it's just a matter of what you want to do and how you want to proceed. But you're going to be conflicted. But you also have the energy of the Queen of Fire, which I think is gorgeous, because you were the Queen of you were the Queen of Air, and the Queen of Air doesn't quite make the same same type of decisions. The Queen of Fire at least takes, you know, some of the roles of each element of each queen to make decisions. But you are gonna be conflicted. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, but you are open to seeing both sides of the stories. You are ready to accept what needs to be accepted. Okay, so. Let me pull you an overall message. I'm very happy that my little Cancerians were out of that confusion state of upheaval is what you guys had with the last, last raw loves, okay? So beautiful, beautiful energy for you guys. Super exciting. Best advice from my Cancerians. All right, and you got the Queen of Water. See what I'm saying? You're coming in as all sorts of things. So it's like a relationship develops to a new level. Trust your intuition. All right, and I did see trust, but it is care for yourself too. Nurture for yourself and, and nurture others. That's your best advice is, you know, the kind of saying, go ahead and nurture this situation. All right, so I'm going to get your best advice for the five of fire. Um, and at the bottom of that deck, well, that's a whole lot, was was balance, okay? But I'm going to pull your best advice for the five of fire because <clears throat> that's, that's a tough one. Um, well... Five of fire. Tell me about the five of fire. 
I just want to see, you know, it has to do with your soulmate and whether or not you're going to move forward in all reality. So I don't need to pull your best advice. I'm just going to kind of see where you're at mentally with this five of fire besides mentally conflicted. I just want to see if there's another angle I can shoot the shit with you about. All right. So, it, yeah, it's judgment. Do I forgive them? Do I not forgive them? You know, so talk to talk to the divine if you really want those answers, okay? Because um, it, it's judgment. Can you forgive yourself? Can you forgive them? Vice versa. All right. But the stars will lead you. The stars will guide you. All right. It, it's, it's time to take care of something. And it, it looks like it can be victorious. It's just a matter of... It looks like they're offering you something and it's, it's questionable, but it's like the divine saying it can be victorious, so no need to feel defeated. So there's, there's, there's underlined energy, but you guys can handle it, okay? You're the queen of fire right now, you know, you're feisty, but for a reason, all right, for a good reason, and you got justice at the bottom of the deck, all right? So it, it's just basically... You know, I was explaining that I, I, Leo or Aquarian, one of those videos, and uh, balancing the thing out. But it, it, at the same time, it, it's just time for for something to come back, kind of to come back around the corner, and for you to, you know, it's acceptance too. It's it, it's a lot of things. I forget which video I spoke on it with you guys if you guys remember if you can comment for somebody else to go back and look but um there was another <laughs> word I wanted to use for the the justice and it, it's not coming to me um tell me about justice it's you know obviously standing up for yourself too but like tell me about justice there's another word I'm looking for that is not at the tip of my tongue but is in my brain surrender all right so yeah it's it's a need to release don't try to control the situation it is more of like a surrender right now because it's karma um so thank you spirit because I, I believe honestly that was actually the word i was looking for to believe it or not oh i love what i do but don't try to control the situation because it's in the divine's hands okay so, I love you guys. Have a fantastic first half of March. It looks great for you. All right. So, take care.